Theology. Yes, welcome again class to today's class whereby today we are going to discuss about photosynthesis. You remember in the previous class we discussed about chlorophyll and we discussed about the factors or the adaptations of the chlorophyll. So in today's class we are going to discuss about photosynthesis. Let's begin first of all by looking at the requirements for photosynthesis. So the requirements of photosynthesis we have light, we have water, we have uh, temperature and then we have finally we have chlorophyll. So these are the basic requirements for photosynthesis. So photosynthesis may be summarized by the equation whereby we react carbon 4 oxide, we react it by water, then we get simple sugar or glucose plus, uh, plus oxygen. So for this process to take place, there must be chlorophyll and there must be light. So photosynthesis proceeds in two stages, whereby the first stage is the light stage, whereby the light stage might be also called light dependent stage, and then the other stage we have the dark stage which might be called light independent stage it does not need light so let's look at the light stage of photosynthesis so what happens in the light stage so the main process in light stage we'll see is photolysis so what is photolysis this is the process where the sunlight breaks down water molecules to hydrogen atoms and oxygen gas so it must be hydrogen atoms not hydrogen gas so the hydrogen atom rather is preserved in the stroma for the dark stage or the light independent stage while the oxygen molecule diffuses out of the of the chloroplast into the leaf out of the stomata so the other aspect is that some of the sunlight is preserved in the grana the chlorophyll absorbs some of the sunlight so as to be able to manufacture the energy plant energy which is called adenosine triphosphate atp now this atp is stored for the light independent stage which is now the dark stage now having done with the light stage let's proceed now to the dark stage so what is the dark stage so the dark stage of photosynthesis this is also called the light independent stage it happens whereby there is no light or there is no sunlight in short so the light independent stage which is the dark stage there is a main process that happens which is called carbon dioxide fixation so in the carbon dioxide fixation the hydrogen that was preserved in the light stage reacts with the carbon dioxide to form simple sugar and water molecules plus energy now in the morning i know maybe you have ever worked in maybe in the field and then you saw that there was some dew or there are some water in the plants now this is where the water comes from in the dark stage of photosynthesis now in the dark stage of photosynthesis again now some of the sugar molecules is being stored by the plant in form of starch while some is transported to the other parts of the plant in form of in form of sucrose now let's look at the factors affecting photosynthesis so we have different factors affecting photosynthesis let's begin with the light intensity so if light is available photosynthesis will proceed at a rapid state or we might say that the more the light intensity the more the rate of photosynthesis up to a certain point and then it levels off now here the temperatures and and the moisture content is the constant factor now the next one let's look at water so the more the water in the environment the more the plants will photosynthesize this is because the water will make the plant cells to be turgid thereby the leaves will be exposed to the environment accordingly thereby sunlight will heat the leaves photolysis will take place and then photosynthesis will proceed from then then the other factor we look at is temperature so the higher the temperature the higher the rate of photosynthesis but temperature only affects the dark stage of photosynthesis and not the light stage of photosynthesis so on elevated temperatures the rate of photosynthesis will be elevated up to a certain point and then it will start to decrease until it declines completely this is because the dark stage of photosynthesis is enzyme controlled and since it is enzyme controlled what happens is that enzymes are denatured on very high temperatures and that's why the rate of photosynthesis will rise up to a certain point and then it will stop on increased on increased temperatures so the last the last factor we look at let's look at the carbon dioxide concentration so the more the carbon dioxide in the environment the more the plant will photosynthesize this is because there'll be excess co2 in the environment so as to be able to form simple sugar with the hydrogen that was that was formed in the light stage 
<coughs> sorry, but the rate of but the rate of photosynthesis takes place or happens up to a certain point on levels of carbon dioxide. This is because temperature is a limit temperature and light is a limiting is a limiting factor here. Now in the next classes we are going to look at something different and I hope to meet next time and I hope that again uh, concerning photosynthesis we are now good. So let's meet on the next class. Biology.